Hey, what's up? This is Disco Doggy. Uh, I got some new teams that I'm playing with. I just thought I'd uh, make a video, show you some of my new teams. N none of them are really that good. Um, probably good against a triple elemental team, although this team, don't curse me bro, got its first loss to a triple elemental team. I was raging. Actually, I wasn't really raging, but I was like, wow. <laughs> it's quite a difference. I was raging. Nah, really, I was just like, wow. <laughs> I play, I've been playing with the bronze well playing. Because it's amazing against Anomalous, okay? Like, a hundred... Okay, so here, let me put it in perspective. I was all going crazy for the uh, Flare Youngling, right? Because I'm like, if it hits twice, then it... Ha oh, wow, that's pretty freaking lame right there. Um... I'm sorry, you're still not gonna like win, but that that's a lame thing to happen. Um so Flare Youngling, I was like, oh if you hit him if you hit him like with two triple hits, there's a twenty five percent chance you're going to keep anomalous from getting one move. For I mean you're gonna make sure anomalous only gets one move off. With the bronze whelpling, there's a one hundred percent chance that that's gonna happen. Let me see about this. Well, let's go ahead and go up in the air. Why? Because you, not that crystal prison, you crystal prison and then arcane slash. Okay, so the anomalous didn't do anything yet. Then you arcane slash again. And then it does its move. It's probably going to do the DOT, the uh, AOE DOT. And then guess what? Next turn, it's dead. And you're faster than it. So in four turns, it only gets one attack and it's dead. So pretty amazing. And just a good pet in general. Um, probably too good sometimes when you're going against, like, I don't know, teams like this. But let's see. Um, I was just kind of messing around with a third pet because if I have the Vengeful Porky Pet and the Bronze Well playing... I certainly need help against elementals, you know, because this is going to take strong damage from elementals. This uh, does weak. I'm, I'm sorry, to mechanicals. Mechanicals, I guess. I got elementals in my head here. Um, yeah, bronze, bronze whelpling does weak damage to mechanicals. This takes strong damage from mechanicals, so I need something that's going to help me against mechanicals. And of all pets, I chose the. Uh, the fungal abomination because well those those two are both strong versus mechanicals and it's an undead with a lot of health which means that it can be good against twilight clutch sister now i used my one um avoidance move no offense but it's got pvp i'm sorry pve written all over it <laughs> No, I guess it was kind of offensive. Um, to PVE players. I should probably at some point get my, uh, get my vengeful porky pet out here so he doesn't get out sped by this, uh, earth spirit here. Yeah, I think this is going to be fine. Ooh, crit made all the difference. Actually, maybe it did. <laughs> it did. It kept me from dying right there because I healed that much. Oh, well, that was the wrong move to make, buddy. I'm going to heal there. I'm going to heal here. And then your water spirit is, well, it's not slower than me. Fungal abomination. Tear pet. No, just kidding. Of course not. Um. Oh yeah. So rather than making a fun rotation and competitive rotation, I still have my competitive rotation here. I need to clean it up a little bit. But I decided to just make a new thing current. The pets I'm currently playing with make it a little bit easier because I could make a new tab, but I don't like like you know if I'm playing with the MOP tab and I want to move it into the current tab and I got to remember that it goes back in the MOP tab so this way I don't have to move stuff around but 
this has been a funny team to play. <laughs> Three spirit crabs. Here, let's play with Nim Darkness. It's a darkness team, but it's got Bashi on it. So, automatically makes it, I mean, it doesn't make it bad because, you know, the Frost for a Rat and Twilight make it good, but I, I, I guess I'm, I guess I'm being a punk by saying it's not good because, you know, you can take a crappy pet and have it carried by two good pets and you still have a good team. So I take it back. How many times did I do that with a fiendish imp and warbot? Oh, now you brought your own fungal abomination. Dang. Okay. Um, I told you. It's the, it's, it's the F.A. meta. I need this guy to be alive, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Alrighty then. I need him to be alive because I got this and I got this to worry about. So it's gonna come in handy to have a critter right now. Don't dive me, bro. Oh my god, I'm so in trouble. Um, I don't really want to put the darkness up because it's going to benefit that elemental. All right. Well, I actually did a pretty decent job against my frost for a rat. Uh, mm, yeah, that was, that was, that was good. <laughs> okay, let's go in darkness here. All right. It's darkness again, just so he doesn't get the whirlpool off. This guy still has his ethereal. That's probably what he's gonna cast first. There we go. All right, I think we're doing fine now. Oh, yeah. Wasn't I supposed to be playing with that pet right there? Well, let's bring him in. So that you never get another darkness miss. Well, this guy's going to get stunned by the stun seed. <laughs> or not. That sucks. Sucks for you, buddy. Whoa, did he just die on the back line? Oh. I'm in, I'm in Prosville, Prosville. Mm. I don't need to prolong the battle with my stone skin. I don't think. I mean... Well, getting scared now. now we, okay, now I'm not so worried. <laughs> I, I was worried. I'm no longer worried. This thing used to confuse me because I thought it was like a field effect. And then if you die, it doesn't go off because it's not a field effect. It is a sort of like a DOT. I mean, it's not doing damage over time, but it, it, it attaches to the pet, not the field. So if your pet dies, it won't go off. Used to confuse the hell out of me. I'm like, what happened to my stun seed? Okay. Well, probably a little too much. Let's go with uh, Don't Kite Me, Bro. Started off like six and one, and I'm like, I'm so good, I can go six and one with a Tuscar kite. But now I'm down to six and three, which is about what you'd expect from playing with a Tuscar kite. I just wanted to, um, you know, some coverage here, and I'm like, ooh, I, oh, great, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. It's like, well, I wanted something that's strong versus mechanicals and. 
aquatics. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and think about how I could possibly win this battle. I just don't see it happening. Um, now is this a Void Nova guy or a or a Weather guy? I don't remember. I think this one. I don't remember. It's been a while since I fought these two. I mean, I know I fought them a number of times, but let's hope he doesn't go with the weather. I need to get him down as quick as possible. Doesn't seem like he's gonna go for the weather here, but I just I just don't have enough. I mean, the 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 infected squirrel can take some damage in the back, but um, this kite. I mean, that's an okay amount of health, but <laughs> it's just not gonna. It's just not gonna happen. Um, so let's get this. Maybe I could have dodged there and used my dodge with another fairy dragon. I probably should have. I probably should have used my dodge. I guess I'm letting the letting the anomalous get into my head. It's a bad thing. You don't want to let it get in your head and see that you make bad moves. Having a flyer doesn't help. The problem with this guy is that he just doesn't have the, the, the burst damage to take out anomalous. So. One forty six, that'll get the job done, but when that crab comes in or the scorpid. Yeah. I mean I didn't think I had much of a chance going into that, but I probably could have done better if I would have actually used my dodge on another fairy dragon. Oh thank you. Thank you so much. You just did me a huge favor. Um now I know that you have that for next time. So that's why when you're totally dominating, you, you don't need to use your, like, moves that aren't totally obvious. Like, actually, they're, like, there's, with this pet, it's interesting. I think in every slot, you could, the, it has good moves in every single slot, although most people take the, um, hold on a second, where is my... Where's my... Go I think I had some better teams, actually, that I kind of gave up on. But uh, let's let's go ahead and go with this one. Even though I already played with it. And see if it can't do a good job against two anomalouses. And I'll show you what I mean. Because I don't think this player has been playing recently. And, the, you know, sometimes I think people change their names up. But... Oh, okay. Maybe they saw that coming. Um, let's go ahead and put this down on you. Earn, earn me a move. I'm not going to do a lot of healing here. Because of the darkness, but... Something might keep me alive an extra turn while you're stunned. Assuming this hits. It did, and it crit. That's good. So this will do 140, then 140. All right, well, that wasn't too bad at all. You're 292, right? I'll take the damage here. Might take me down to zero, but... Uh, maybe I should have brought in the bronze whelpling. Yeah, it did take me down to zero. I might have been better off bringing in the bronze whelpling there, but... What are you going to do? So now I'm in a little bit of trouble. Let's go ahead and do this. That way at least when that hits me it'll be for weakened damage and I'm still gonna be slower 
than the uh, dread hatchling when it comes in. Next up, I'll be at four. Oh, okay. Cool. Four, four oh three, which still isn't faster than that guy. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take that. As long as I can get that dread hatchling below. Um, oh, dude. That's a, that was actually bad for me. that he did so much damage because now I'm going to be slower than the Dread Hatchling. And it can uh, it can use its uh, Nocturnal Strike against me. Yeah, I'm, I'm in trouble here. I can always miss its Nocturnal Strike. Okay. And now it's going to darkness me. But then, if it's got this, it probably doesn't. Well, we'll find out. Only one thing I can do. Three seventy eight. Oh, looks like we're in business. This will kill. I'm gonna go ahead and try and do this now. Okay, cool. Whoa, oh, that scared me there. But I'm gonna lose two in a row. Okay. I should probably, if I'm gonna play this team competitively, I should probably work on a better third. Let's see what other teams that I've I've made. They would be in my BFA down here, because I did make a bunch of them. Um, well, I got a lot of BFA teams. Okay, <laughs> that was the wrong way to go about that. How about we do this? So let's look for that. Uh, now I got those. Oh, this was fun. This was a fun team. I don't know why I didn't keep this one. Oh, and what happened to that mountain panda team? I guess I guess when I moved these out of the 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 tab that they were in, I was thinking like, okay, I'm only going to play with the few of them but let me let me go ahead and wait was this the one that I was I was digging there was this one and then what else there was another one too ah detecting revenge not that one I had it seems like I had another fossiling team so let's go to uh, current here. Oh, I do. I have this one. Oh, okay. I guess I was missing the... Um... <clears throat> oh, wait. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to play with this one. That's right. There we go. So I said, well, maybe get a better third pet, and I end up with Fosling, which I don't really have too many. I don't, I don't play with Fosling much. But... I like the idea of Rock Barrage, and then Quake has been pretty good. I think in two of these wins has have been against Twilight, and it's really messed up. Twilight on the back back line. Um, I don't like that it doesn't have a normal attack. That's why I then made this other team, No Pork on the Orc, and it has Rock Barrage. And then I can take a normal attack on this guy. So this team's four and oh, and the other eight and four. Dang. Um, let's see how it goes. Oof. up first all right if that's what you want to do it's not a hundred percent blind is it yeah but <laughs> this is already only 50 percent I think so 
That's fine. Take some damage with Fosling. Actually take a lot of damage with Fosling and do <laughs> that much damage to the teeny titan orb. That doesn't seem like a good deal to me, but oh well. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be going so well. Okay. So now, you're going to hit me with this for a lot of damage. And then you're going to hit me with that. But then I should have a chance to ramp myself up pretty well. Still not going to be... F oh, interesting move. I don't mean that in a good way. Can I do this? Surge of Light. Let's hope they make the same mistake they did that time and hit me with the double move and take a... Okay, they didn't do it. So now I'm... don't really want to take the double damage here. Oh, okay, that's good. Too risky. How much health does he have? Does he have? Okay, okay. Oh, but he's not gonna have health without. If I bring him in now, ah, taking a risk here. Oh, wait, that wasn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh my god, I just la la lost. I was thinking of doing this, and I said la la lost. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I was waiting to the last moment because I was like, oh, do I want to take the chance of lifting off or not lift? Oh, you're giving me a chance here. I think. I could have lifted off. That's what I was thinking of doing, and then I saw the timer running down. Oh, nice. I don't think he can take a darkness and uh, oh okay oh that was oh okay okay that's fine that's fine because with no I'm gonna need two of these against you shoot there's that and then no I only need, oh because you're lower than Lower than your racial. Okay. So now I need to. I, I've won unless I miss and they miss. <laughs> hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't miss here. Oh, okay. Whew. Sorry, I had to think a lot about that one. Um, well, Fosling didn't really help me that much. <laughs> it did take some damage, but. I think I was incoherent there for a while. I'm like, oh, if I do this and if I just, um, you know, well, like, uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much what I sounded like. Um, no anomalous, but you can, you can, you get the idea. If a uh, bronze whelpling against anomalous, really good. Um, you see the bronze whelpling doing okay, not against anomalous. I think I kind of messed up. The, I, I messed up in a couple ways. 
obviously there was that move when I was like thinking, should I win? Should I take the chance of winning the coin toss? And then I was supposed to do something else, not do my regular attack. That was the chance I was thinking of taking. <laughs> and I won the coin toss, but oof. Oh God, really? Death Adder versus uh, Wicked Soul. And a uh, Muck Slug. Great. All right, well, you're probably going to start with your Death Adder. I would if I saw Wicked Soul. This is a pretty crap. This, this, this team deserves to be, like, spanked anyways, because it's a Haunt and Stall team. Just go for it. All right, that's fine. I don't care because I'm going to bring this guy in anyways. Then I'm going to put this up. I'm going to go like this. Hey, guess what? If you're not facing a 341 speed Death Adder with blind, this is a really powerful team I have here. But it just so turns out I was facing a Death Adder with 341 speed and blind. So it didn't work out well for me. All right, well, let's not get stunned here. Oh, he didn't go with the stun, all right. Take a chance. I do need some healing. Is it, is it going to help me at all? This is... Well, he might die on the back line. I think I, I think I think I lost this one. Let's. Uh... Oh God! I should have, I should have went for it. That sucks. Ugh. So my mistake was I should have I should have not went for the heal. I should have just went for the haunt in case he swaps, but of course anybody in their right mind is gonna swap when you have a bonkers facing a wicked soul, so it it, it wasn't it just wasn't smart on my part. I mean so yeah, we're not we're not getting it done this time. So let's see. We'll go and do this. Just because even after he dies, this will still do damage. But I mean, I, I, you know, I blew this. I had my the little chance that I had was lost when I did not haunt into the death adder so now I got a a muck slug against a death adder so that's how I'm gonna have to end things serves me right it's a it's a it's a crappy team to 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 play against when you haunt and stall so so the idea is and, and this was because I was facing so many imps. Still, I'm facing a lot of imps. Hold on, let me think about this. Now it's not possible. I'm like, is it possible that I could make it the death adder come in? Oh, I don't even have my strong damage against humanoids here. Like I usually take on the muck slug. But then that guy's going to die on the back line, so. Ah. Kind of an embarrassing loss, but oh well. Well, no. <laughs> I'm like oh, I can still do it. I can't. So I deserve that one.
I don't know what I could have done differently. I could have started with the forest sproutling. Probably would have been my better bet, but okay. Well, if you want to, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna come back. Like that was the the player. I don't know. It's not like they were running like a super high powered team or anything. Um, you know, so I'm like, I'm gonna get them now. I, I don't need to do that. Uh, but I actually am a little bit worried if somebody's playing uh, a Death Adder. So I'm gonna play my Death Adder. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Never play with this pet. Um, an old friend. Ooh, man, that, that's rough. Let me go and play with Tisco's Destroyers. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to play with Mongoose Pup, Nuke of, I mean, uh, Crimson Geode, and the Little Bad Wolf. I'm not. Oh, but you know what I should play with more with is the Imperial Eagle Chick. Now yeah, it looks like I tried it a bit. Barnaby, burn the Shire. Kill the Hobbits and burn the Shire. That's what I say. Don't get me started talking about the Lord of the Rings movie. The last one. My favorite part of the Lord of the Rings when I when I read it was when the shot when the when the hobbits went back to the Shire and they didn't have all these super powerful people around them. They just went back by themselves. They owned. I was waiting to see that in the movie. And instead it was like this five hour ending of people getting married and saying goodbye and it was like horrible. Okay, there. Glad I got that out. Um, okay. What do you got here? You got nothing. So, um, Mongoose Pup is really good against Death Adders. Not that good against anything else, but, you know probably do okay against this team. I should run a triple Bigglesworth team just to flex. Because I don't think you can get triples, biggle, triple Bigglesworth. Well, it's hard to say. Triple Bigglesworth, triple Bigglesworth, triple Bigglesworth. Okay, it's not that hard. Well... I don't always bring in slower pets, but when I do, I bring one with feigned death. Well, I don't know. What do you want to do about it? I don't know. I thought you were, I thought you were going to do that. Yeah, let's play the, the block your own move game. I like that. This is stupid. I hate I, I hate this ice barrier. I wish it was block two attacks and disappears after three rounds or something like that. Because I mean, really, this is helping this player because it's it's letting their ice tomb reset. But you know, so I don't I don't think I'll let it happen again. I mean, I don't think I'll. Um... Oh, bastard got me! All right, well, don't don't do that again, please. It's so annoying. Just don't don't do it. <sighs> Alrighty, that's it's always fun to block your own ice tomb twice. Good job. Sorry. I just I don't mean to be talking smack, but do not like Ice Barrier. I, I, I do the same thing sometimes. So I, I, I use it too. And sometimes I 
sometimes I pass when I use ice barrier, so I'm not totally innocent. Do you have an ice tomb as well? By the way, this is this isn't a bad team with the spirit crab and the scalded basilisk. I'm all acting like I'm silly again. Like bring one pet supported by two really good pets, and I'm like, oh, I'm just having fun. <sighs> but I want to play with the mongoose pup to show you how it destroys adders. I used to be so into that that I used to watch videos of real life mongooses. I don't know what to say. I don't. I don't know the plural of that. I think I, I think I looked it up last time I mentioned this, which is kind of sad, because I'm turning into like your 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 old pet battle dad. It's like, oh, I've heard that story before, dad. Come on. Like I know they used to be good against death adders, and you used to watch videos of real life mongooses killing snakes. Thanks, dad. Thanks for letting me know. For the eighth time, yeah, Disco Doggy, your boring pet battle dad. All right, well, you know what else is good against Death Adders? Imperial Eagle Chicks. Do we really want to burn the Shire? Do we really want to crit like an eagle? Mm, why not? Oh, well, that's must click on team. I don't think I've ever seen the movie Desperately Seeking Susan. <laughs> Which I probably say every time I play this team. Which just reinforces what I was just saying. That sound is making me have to pee. Where's that coming from? There's no running water around here? Is there? going on oh how many ways can you say scumbaggery oh and it's not going to be good against my eagle chick either probably going to lose this this is an, a really just a just an annoying team to have to face just like 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 really really bad like i don't like this person at all. Like, I kind of hope bad things happen to them in real life. At least I got this. And then... I guess I'll do this. Yeah, sure. Why not? Gonna be a lot of swapping going on. This is gonna be a long, painful battle. So, in case you don't know why it's so annoying, because they just have these two shields that do a lot of do a lot when you attack them. Actually, is that only direct damage each time you take direct damage? They don't actually block anything. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ring this guy in. Like, that doesn't block, right? No, it just deals damage when you give them damage. So it's not going to block that. So I'm actually not as bad as I think. That would be bad if I bone barraged right now. Like, really, really bad. Okay, so I'm going to do it. Not this turn. I don't want to pass two times in a row right here, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down again. All right, killing him 46 damage at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and take it this time. So Okay, I was worried that it might miss one there. 
So we'll at least now, they're taking these two, um, these two damages here. So let's get, let's put, this one does more, right? But it only does 46. This one, yeah, let's go ahead and do the direct damage right now. They both only do 46, right? Okay. Let's go and do this. Oh, bastard. All right, well, if you're not going to use it, then I'll do that. I'll bring in my eagle, which is scary, because... You got you got that going on for you. Okay. So we'll go up in the air here. <sighs> I mean, there's a there's a there's a lot of annoying teams you can face, and this is one of them. But it's probably not the worst. Worst. <laughs> pretty slow, guy. You're pretty slow. I'm gonna do the damage. One, two, didn't get the third. Okay. He's gonna have a lot left over. How much is that gonna do? 200, oh, 105, because it's treated as a DOT, I think. So I'll take the 105, right? What's the lowest this can do? 370. Oof. So close. But if you don't use your shield this round, then I'll be able to kill you off next round. I think I'm good as long as you don't use your attack and crit. Oof. So close. Well, that was annoying. That was really, really annoying. I'm glad I realized that the marionette will still do damage. What level am I anyway? 97. Just a quick check in. How long does it take to get to 97? Level 97. Not even a thousand battles. So, back from the first time I did this in, in MOP, it took me like 3,700 battles to get to level 90 but I wasn't wearing heirlooms and I guess you needed more experience to level up or maybe pet battles gave less experience I don't remember all I remember is it took like 3,000 I, I, I'll have to look it was over 3,000 okay well that was not a fun battle at all um let's play with bandwagon Billy that's pretty fun oh I forgot to type in my thing here current should play with this team again. Lose to another triple elemental team. How many battles have I even played? I'm not even keeping track. I don't even know how long have I been pet battling. I don't know what's going on. I just keep requeuing until I get tired of it. Looks like it's a day in the queue. <laughs> That's what I've called videos that I where I have no purpose and I just keep playing. I don't even know how many I've won, how many I've lost. Maybe I lost. Two. I remember I lost to that anomalous team, double anomalous. And not only lost, but I got destroyed. Well, it was a pretty calm day actually. So, besides that double anomalous team, do you have a do you have a do you have a beaver dam? Ah. Okay. Well, I think I'm faster than all these dudes with this guy. But if you bring in your imp first, which you're not gonna, be 
careful of the dark rebirth. Some people use that. Oh, oh, too late. I mean, it saved me there, but now I'm going to get lasered. The bad news is I forgot about it. The good news is I remembered it before it actually happened, so I'm only 50% bad. Oh, he's not going to laser me. Okay. I'm guessing we got the conflag coming. Yeah. All right. Ouch. Sorry, my friend. It just was not a good matchup for you. I don't want to use this on him because I'm probably just going to use immolation. Now I'll use it. Inky, also known as Inky the Soloer. No, not really. That was that's not a painful man. It's like like the worst sound of a pet dying I've ever heard. And okay, maybe not. Speaking of pets dying, you know you know you know what creeps me out is when I think it's Pingu. After you kill it and it stands up in the back, it's just so creepy, man. All right, let's see if Anki can solo this guy. I don't think so. We're going to need three high hits, and we're going to need him to hit low. Well, there's one low hit. I guess I can kill him in two highs. Another low. Or is that high? No, that was a low. Well, if you're going to heal... oh. Inky the soloer is gonna solo. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna t pose him. You know, if he wants to kill Inky. Well, I gave him the chance to kill an Inky, so there's no need for me to dive right there. Inky, tier zero pet destroys entire teams. Of course not. That was a good matchup and I got that lucky I got a crit on the dive so which one did I play with I played with no grass on my ass and then let's see we'll play with no pork on the orc because why is it no grass on my ass because I was I, I eventually called it grass on my ass but then if you look at this guy he's actually got no grass there so it was it would have been an incorrect team name Let's see, Twilight, Clutch Sister, Hermit Crab, and Gardling. I'm gonna guess that I lose. Maybe start with the Hermit Crab. Ooh, things are off to a good start. What's that? Bubble, you say? Okay, I win. I quit. Drop mic. <laughs> that's, a, that's about as good as it's going to get for me in this battle. Matchups. <laughs> I actually think this is my best matchup, sadly. Because then I get this against the faster dragon. I get this against the against this guy that's going to put up the sandstorm. I mean, it's not really great for me, but, ooh. But I think I just killed the, I think I just killed the hermit crab. Yes, I did. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Mountain Panda, tier zero pet. No, of course not. I'm not going to be good in the sandstorm. 
fast in my 289 versus 289. I'm probably going to get kicked here. It's fine. Okay, well, let's see if this is going to work out like I thought it was going to work out. I mean, you may be thinking, well, why aren't you using this against that dragon? Well, first of all, I'm slower and this dragon is faster and I can't really use the dragon against this garling so that's why maybe you'll miss the kick no there were no missed kicks okay. so if I can burrow when I come back in, maybe misses right here. Ooh. Maybe misses again. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to burrow. Hmm, okay. Well, that was good. Sandstorm is still up. However, I do not want to leave this guy on the back line with too little health. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. All right, there you go. I don't want to backline him. Because now I get to hit this guy on the swap, or I get to own your dragon, either one. Oh, you're going to let me do that? Wow. Strong damage against damage that's not good against some of that's the same speed. I'm only doing two. 52 a pop and I have to survive this well, let's start off with this that's good maybe he loses toss again go ahead and do your move okay that's good Two fifty-two plus dragon kin but in a sandstorm Disaster. Well, it's coming down to this. <laughs> oh, oh, and he missed. And I didn't. Okay, now real drop mic. <laughs> I think that's a good time to quit because I got pretty lucky there. So, um,. There you have it, a day in the queue. I probably played a lot with the bronze whelpling. I think I played with this team, with this team. I played with this. I don't think I played with that. I think I was going to. Let's see, what did I play with? One, two, three. Four. I guess I don't need to count how many battles I did. It will be apparent when I make the video. But, um, yeah, there you go. I, I, I don't think it's going to get any better than that. So I think I'm going to call it a day right now. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, Bronze Whelpling. I, I didn't get to actually face an anomalous with it. But when I have and when they bring and when they leave the anomalous in, absolutely amazing. So that's why I'm using it again. I've started after, you know, last time or a couple of videos ago, I was like, ah, I never use a vengeful porky pet. I need to start using it more. I have been. It's absolutely amazing. Um, mixing up, mixing in fozzling here and there. So 
Uh, yeah, I've been having fun pet battling. It's 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 interesting. Oh no, I lost two, right? Because I lost I lost this one too. Because that one that one. Okay, good. I lost two. Um, <laughs> this one I deserved. It's a horrible team to play. Uh, you know why I started playing this team? It's because again, like I was facing a lot of imps. Okay, let me back up. I, well, I was facing a lot of imps, and then I'm currently making a video, not like this video where I was just oh, I'm pet battling and blabber blabber, trying to make a more informative video. And then I remembered the Wicked Soul, like, oh, that's a really good counter against Amps. And so rather than try to make a good team, I was like, oh, I remember this team. It's a Haunt and Stall team. And it's a really a painful Haunt and Stall because you haunt and then you put up Refuge and then you do Sons of the Root. And it's just kind of like, it's kind of a poor taste team. I mean, Haunt and Stall is already kind of a like lame strategy i mean not not lame up there with uh you know sun sunny day like i mean nothing beats sunny day for lameness but it's pretty bad so i mean i never i never like losing but if i was gonna lose with the team i'd be like ah, eh, yeah you guys deserve it so what i need to do is i'd probably need to come up with a, a better wicked soul team is what i really need to do and then uh I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I played with this one today. But there's a team that gives me a lot of trouble because one of the things I realized is uh, my my imp counters, my two of my favorite imp counters, the the frost for a rat and the muck slug, both critters. And so there's somebody on my battle group who runs fiendish imp, twilight clutch sister. Which is not a big deal. Like, I mean, it's 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 hard, and it's definitely the hardest combo that I have to deal with right now, more so than anomalous. Um, well, actually, sometimes they take the third pet as an anomalous. But what somebody did is they run a dire horn, and it's really difficult. A because I can't run critters against it, and then um, what's the other thing? I can't do like like speed reduction is less effective. That's that's one of the reasons i like the muck slug is because of the speed reduction so but then you got um i also run primal cry you know the leviathan hatchling against it but again the speed reduction kind of can't it cancels each other out <clears throat> so the best team the best luck that i've had against that team is with this one the masonic nebs and I just don't like running this team all the time. I have been playing it a lot when things get competitive, but um, it just the, the and that player actually beat me with this team at least once. And so, long story short, <laughs> too late for that. Uh, I started running triple spirit crabs against it. I'm like, you know what? If you're gonna terrorize me that much with this team, I'm gonna terrorize you back. And sadly. <laughs> the battles are generally close even though even with three spirit crabs even with my poor taste team they're still close battles against that other player so anyways i need to i need to um come up with a better counter but yeah that's why this um <laughs> that's why this team is here and when i've not faced the imp uh tcs and dire horn against uh, somebody else i'm just like oh I'm sorry, this is such a boring team to play against, and to play with for that matter, if it wasn't for the fact that I was beating that other team. So, anyways, I'm starting to fill it in my voice. I think I made a long video. But, um, yeah, expect that other imp video coming soon, and I believe that Pet Battle Week is coming up next. It is, and I am actually, this is my last week of vacation. I'm not even teaching my math counts class anymore uh, i'm giving them and myself a break so working on some music stuff but i should be able to get a lot of battles in next week so there you go i said thanks for watching a long time ago and then gave you a bunch of jibber jabber but now i'm really saying thanks for watching